everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. Go Situation. Account. Who is it? Me. Who at PHAC? Who's going to lose their job over this? Nobody. Nobody. So there is an act of treason, and of course treason is defined in the Criminal Code of Canada as the sharing of military or scientific information. Who are you accusing of treason? Who are you accusing of treason? Of foreign state. Who are you I, accusing I'm, of treason? Listen, I'm not here for you to ask If you're going to accuse somebody of treason, you're, you're absolutely going to answer for it. Who are you accusing of treason, sir? Who are, who are you accusing of treason? Who are you accusing of treason? Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron back with another committee video. They, there's so many of these. These conservatives and liberals do not like each other. You can tell in committee, guys. The committee meetings are just about as dysfunctional as question period is. It's a pageant, but my goodness, it's exciting every time. Here we're going to watch another liberal get cut up by a conservative. That's the way that it seems it goes in these committee meetings most of the time. Like, point of order? Well, we'll see if there is one. This is a lot to watch, guys. Let's check it out. Dr. Ellis, please, for five minutes. Well, thank you very much, Chair. You know, uh, Minister, you've been very careless with your uh, uh, use of the truth here today, and that's, that's very sad on behalf of Canadians. When we know very clearly that the, uh, that the President of PHAC was called to the bar of the House of Commons, we know that your government, your Liberal government, took the Speaker to court to prevent these documents from coming to light. And we also know that your government called a COVID election to prevent these government uh, these documents from coming to light so your your application uh, is is reckless it's careless on behalf of canadians which is what sadly we've come to expect from you not to mention you've been exceedingly careless with the truths that you have expounded on a multitude of other topics today uh, so that being said who is accountable for this egregious breach of security who is it well, in the, in the first order, uh, I will completely reject and disagree with what you said at the beginning. Uh, the dispute that occurred within the House of Commons was that the government of the day, uh, which was our government, said that, uh, that this matter could be, all the documents could be seen at NSI COP. And the position of Parliament was they wanted to table drop national security documents. So we can't let that happen. Uh, carelessly treating national security documents would have profound implications for our Five Eyes partners. Now, we de-escalated that, uh, as, as you will recall, uh, by me suggesting that we have an ad hoc process with a group of panels and arbiters that could independently review those documents and make them available. Everything that I said to the letter is true. Uh, you saying something isn't true, well, an interesting, uh, you know, rhetorical device uh, doesn't make it true. Well, thank you very much, Minister, and obviously the same is true for you. The facts, the facts speak for themselves, considering the fact that you don't even know what's in the documents. So who is accountable? Who is it for this mess? Who's accountable? I, I'm accountable. You are? Excellent. Who will you hold to account at PHAC? Uh, I have... I believe PHAC acted in a way, uh, always, uh, in, in, in the highest you, order. Who will you hold to account? I have looked at the situation, I and I believe that. PHAC I you, handled you the situation. Hold to account? Who is it? Me. Who at PHAC? Who's going to lose their job over this? Nobody. Nobody. So there is an act of treason, and of course treason is defined in the Criminal Code of Canada as the sharing of military or scientific of information Who are you accusing with an agent of, of a foreign state. Who are you accusing I, I, listen, of treason? Listen, I'm not here for you to ask If you're going to accuse somebody of treason, you're, you're to absolutely going to answer minister, for it. Who are you accusing of treason, sir? And your crazy bombast and your accusing behavior who, who are you accusing is not of treason? going to minister, make this committee bow minister, down. You can't accuse somebody of treason and not name them. That's totally irresponsible. I think that I'm here to ask the questions, and you're here to answer them, which you continue to refuse to do. So this is actually a point of privilege if you don't want to answer the questions. Is that how you want to do this? What I want to be able to do is understand who you just accused of treason, sir. That's an incredibly, incredibly awful accusation. Do you, do you know what the definition of treason is? Who are you accusing I of treason? No, I'm asking questions. Do you know what the definition of treason is? I get to ask questions. Is? You don't get to dictate that. Who are you accusing of treason, Do you know what the, you you know what treason, the definition sir? of treason who is? Who are you yes accusing no? of treason? Oh, you really have no idea. Who are That's you accusing exactly of treason? That's exactly what Canadians want to hear. Who are you accusing What's of treason? What's the definition of treason? Mr. If you are going to accuse somebody of treason in this country, that is that is a reprehensible you thing to do, I and do I would ask I that do, you name who you were accusing of treason. I do not need to answer your questions, but you need to answer mine. What is the definition of treason? Do you have any idea? Well, I, I'd be curious. You name somebody as being treasonous, so who who are they and what's I your definition? I asked you what the definition of treason is. Do you know what it is? Betraying your country. No, that's not it. 
It is actually very simply knowingly communicating military or scientific information or documents to an agent of a state other than Canada with the intention of jeopardizing the safety or defense of Canada. So did, did that happen at this lab? In, in, in neither you nor I are a lawyer, but you and I would both know that calling somebody something like a you know what minister you're not a doctor committing you to, made a whole bunch of claims today committing that are non but naming somebody well. name, saying that somebody is a traitor okay well, is is a is a, is a is a very serious accusation and i would say that it's normally a matter that would be determined by courts yeah and but so i'm asking i had asked you who you would you know is minister you have no idea you're clueless well, you that's your no characterization, and I don't, I don't know that. You're I think reckless, you felt that. Felt, you're but, sir, you felt that way before you met me. <laughs> you're so blinded by your partisanship, you would have thought that about me before you even spoke to me. No, you've actually and proven it today that you don't you know have the point facts of your file. That's, that's the worst point of all. Well, I don't know what the purpose is. No excuse idea. me. Excuse me. Uh, retreat to your corners for a second. Go ahead, Mr. Nackby. I just really fail to see the line of questioning from the member opposite. What I find it even more... Uh, disappointing is the constant name calling that he has uh, taken, and I've let it go for a few times, but that does not advance a thoughtful, rational questioning. He, he's got legitimate questions that he wants to ask, but he can ask them in a manner that are to the point and factual beside calling names. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nackby. I'm inclined to agree, uh, Dr. Ellis. Uh, you're, you're absolutely entitled to ask aggressive questions, but there's no place for insults. Please go ahead. Thank you, Chair. I would say I have about 30 seconds left. I think uh, pointing out to Canadians that this minister doesn't know his file, that he's reckless and permissive and lax with security, I think that that's absolutely accurate and adequate. Absolutely. So the, the question here is then, what you're telling Canadians is that no one would be held accountable for an egregious breach of security, sending talent and information and abilities to a foreign hostile power. Is that true, sir? Canadian citizens in question were fired. The Canadian citizens in question are under investigation as is appropriate. They are eminent scientists who lied to PHAC and misrepresented their actions. These and, are as, eminent and, scientists. and there were consequences. These individuals wow, were fired you. and under under investigation. The fact Minister, that you Chair, are not achieving your partisan ends is not my concern. As well, Chair. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Dr. Hey gang, so there we go, another wild and crazy committee video. We always get to see the best here. Larry Brock, Shannon Stubbs, Rick Perkins, Michael Barrett, Michael Cooper, Melissa Lanceman, Josh Rush, Halon. There's a long list, guys. I just mentioned only a few of the names. These committee videos, guys, are wild. We'll be covering Canadian federal politics, sharing that with you. Like, subscribe, share, get notified, all those fun things, leave a comment. I do love the comments. That's it. We'll be back with more information to share and probably another committee video or two coming down the pipes. Remember to like and subscribe. It does help. My name's Aaron. This is Question Period Canada. Catch you next video. Thank you for watching this one.